Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo staying off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. Want to do a market watch as well now that the balance has had time to settle on in and get itself tucked into bed since it's all cold out and whatnot. At least here in Florida, it's like 40 degrees and I'm freezing my ultra balls off. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and talk about. Uh, what the what the market's been doing is it's been it's it's been crapping all over the floor starting off here with world chalice du just a car uh did you know this only came out in dark neostorm is a secret rare this needs a reprint worse than i need a girlfriend ladies and gentlemen holy balls uh so market price was 10 uh and then it was 12s look at this jump so you're looking at like four dollars and that just pfft, just shoots straight up my god right now we're sitting at 14s for unlimbs what are first ads hit me with this uh oh, okay so like 13.69 nice um and then they slowly creep up so you're still looking at like 13 14 dollars for just a car i think that this is all hype i don't know if this card's gonna be all that good i could be wrong though um i didn't play a lot of toss format i actually kind of hated that format ah this card that ruined my life back in Necros format. Yeah, we, like I said, I've been around for 16 years playing this game competitively, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> this card needs a reprint really bad. Well, technically, it got a reprint in the 25th anniversary in Spell Ruler. Those got bought out at $19 market price. Um, so you're looking at a lowest for like a dollar and change structured deck Zombie Madness. Uh, you're looking at $30. This is... Uh, original spell ruler look again look at that jump 18 dollars, and now we've just shot up to like over 20 people are paying 40s on these for the unlimbs yeah a light play on them 59 99 cent shipping uh they they cap out at uh 75 dollars. if you take off the light play uh don't buy the korean one heavy play for 30 and then near mint for 42 yeah like this is just a dumpster fire um I, I wouldn't invest in this, quite honestly, especially when you see that you have cheaper options. Um, I want to pull up Red Ox, because why not? It's a dollar for the Secret Rare. Like, it's kind of whatever. Until we get title, then we can actually start crapping our pants. Um, I want to pull up Tier Elements, too, just out of curiosity. It's still 170 for the um, Root Kalos uh, Ultimate Rares on Rhino Hearts. If you want max rarity tier stuff, like, now's the time. $13 on these. Uh, still 10s on the Tier Cash. Three dollars on the Kaleidos, threes on the Rhino, um, two on Root Kalos. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, one seventy on Root Kalos. I don't know if I said Kit Kalos before, but yeah, no, one seventy on that, and then pff, not even a dollar for Kit Kalos, not even a dollar for Shayrun, and it just kind of drops off from there. Like especially if you want super rares like Merle and Shayrun, like they're not even a dollar. Like people, people have dropped this stuff like a bad relationship. So yeah, if you if you want cash stuff, they're like now's the time. Like you're not spending a lot um let's see here cash tira stuff arise hearts are still 56 dollars for the starlights like why 50 dollars for ulti rare fenrir's you better pick up your fenrir's see everybody thought that it was going to get hit and it's like nope they went back on up um so you're looking at 46 46 uh and then 50 bucks light play for 50 52 you're looking at like 50 100 dollars yeah no simply are unlucky no uh, simply unlucky ain't nobody spending that much Unless I just misread that and it wasn't 100. Uh, yeah, these things cap out at 83. Yeah, no, I misread that. Sorry, Simply Unlucky. These things are actually only 60 bucks. I still wouldn't spend that much, especially when you can get ulties now for 50. I'd swipe these up. Uh, like, honestly, you want max rarity Fenrir's? Uh, go and get you some ulti, Sugar Boo Bear. Uh, because that is honestly really good value. Is there... Son of a... I can't cuss within the first couple of minutes, so I'm just going to hold my tongue. Eight, uh, eight hours. Eight dollars for Theosis. Um... 14s on rise hearts holy balls um only not even a dollar for the prismatic secrets on the unicorn swipe these up what you waiting for uh quarters on the ogres yeah this stuff is dirt cheap like you're spending what 250 max rarity cash deck like hello get you some d shifters and move on with your day panky wanky tops 150s for the collector's rares oh my god if you invest in ancient guardians you are a great prognosticator look at this 148 actually once these six are gone it becomes 190 dollars. hey you almost swipe these up no i'm just kidding i'm not gonna do that to y'all i i wouldn't even spend this much anyway but yeah no after these six are gone it's 190 on up to 300 dollars. jesus christ i don't need collector rare cards that bad with my luck it's gonna get bent the first time i play it upstart goblins uh max rarity turbo pack booster eight are 30 dollars <laughs> why look at this jump like 
So these things are already up because you have to keep in mind Goat Format has three upstart goblins, which sounds insane. It's really not. Um, damage on limbs are 28. Oh my god, what are what are light plays? Hit me with this. $94, bro. And they cap out at 95. That's just for light play. Near mints are $85 just to have a fucking super rare. I do not need a max rarity upstart goblin that badly in my life. That is horrible. You still have other options. Yugi's World's 15s, 7s, 2s. Upstarts have always been priced. Like, even down here in the dark beginnings, like, they're a dollar and change. Like, upstarts have always held value, quite honestly. But uh, if you want one that's, like, decent, I would go with, like, Magic Ruler. Like, get you some for a couple bucks. You've got your play set. You're spending $6 on Upstart Goblin. Like, Upstart will always have value. Um, I want to pull up Orca stuff, too. I was just curious. Galatea's are 66s. Dingirisu ultis are surprisingly low. Like, yeah, like 30 bucks near mints. Light plays 26 near mints. If you want yourself an ulti Dingirisu, like now's the time. $29, maybe 30 and change after shipping. That's not terrible. And it's, I, I'm sure it's like maybe a one of at most. 20 for Girisu, uh, 24 for regular Ding Dings. Uh, Harpors, let, let's see what's going on with these. What are these, eight bucks? Uh, fours fours yeah they're like four dollars four dollars for a one of max rarity super yeah go for it sugar boo bear like why not it's actually not terrible i really don't know if orcas is really going to do much of anything but like maybe as a sub engine eh, it might kind of get you there um i always like to pull up Yu-Gi-Oh in general if you ever want to see like what the most highest price cards are in the game this is a good way to do it uh dark ends is one on the market for four thousand uh masquerade starlights are over 700 uh Go sell a kidney if you wanted that bad. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to look at Ancient Gear stuff because Ancient Gears are garbage, uh, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, still $500 for Little Knight. It's it's a thing. In fact, let's go on into the Age of Expensive and see what's kind of gone on back here. Uh, wow, these have not budged at all. Seeker Simple Spoil. So they were 120 They kind of dropped. These things are still $100, like even after the ban list. Yeah, they're $100 even. So if you want to play Rescue Ace, yeah, you're still spending like six, seven hundred bucks on Rescue Ace. Uh, wow, yeah, the horror stuff hasn't budged. Fifties on M Setties, uh, the twenty twos on the Black Witch, uh, Sky Crisis is twenty one. Yeah, this format, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, is still going to be pretty expensive. Uh, even King Sarks are $4, like WTF, man. $5 for original Simple Spoil say, uh, Snake Eye. Um, fire stuff is going to be kind of up in general because of the Fire King structure deck um, and all of that. So do keep that in mind. People have been hyping up Manadium, if I can spell it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not expensive. Uh, at least like the Manadium core stuff. Um, so that, that'll be interesting to see. Um, Valiant Smasher is going to smash a hole in your wallet if you want max rarities. Um, $52 on boxes. I'm not even going to look at the collector rare stuff. We all know that this is expensive. Primeras, though, uh, 30 bucks. Um, and Blamas are 32s. These have held even since I bought my stuff. Like, this is what I bought my stuff for. Uh, 20s on the Trudeas. 8s on the Legadia. Um... I don't see Emmett 6 here, actually. did Emmett, Emmett 6 must have dropped. Are we going on over to page 2 for Emmett 6? I thought Emmett 6s were like 12 bucks for a time. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Maybe that was just pre-sale. $3 for Emmett 6. So Centurion is still expensive. Um, very much so. Um, do I think that the, that the deck is as good as the self-appointed Centurion King? Yeah. I mean, even with Tikaboo at 1, you've got Triple Desires now, and you've got Triple Upstart. Hell, every deck has Triple Upstart. We're playing in a 37-card deck format. So... <clears throat> take for that um what you will um also yes i did buy a set of the egyptian god cards uh with their manga design uh so i'm very excited about that what's going on here in 25th anniversary we'll close it out on this uh of course the quarter centuries are expensive out the ass ash blossoms are 168 i wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole uh let's see 19s on ash 18s on tour guides uh, the quarter century desires are 30s. That makes sense. D shifter 17s. D shifter didn't get banned actually. Now that I think about that too, oof, that's that's rough. 12s on the imperms. Uh, 24s on the quarter century dingirisus. That's actually surprising. Um, Deco talker heat soul is still 13 even with the banning of circular. Huh. 
$11 on summon limit. Yeah, I expect a lot of summon limit now. Everybody's going to be going to that card. 13s on the quarter century change of heart. And it just kind of drops off from there because, you know, the quarter centuries are going to be crazy money. $6 on Prosperity. That's actually not bad because I thought Prosperity was going to go to one. So there's still a lot of value in this. I mean, $5 for a Baron. Go pick you one up, Sugar Boo Bear. $12 for the quarter century spell book of judgments. If you bought these in advance because you saw the OCG put judgment to three, that's a good investment. Now, with that being said, spell book is still garbage. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about this market watch. Is there anything that I didn't think about? There's so many things that got hit on the balance. There's no way I would be able to cover everything in, like, one 10-minute market watch. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.